Hey guys, Danish Kasamali here with Silky Socks back again. This time I'm going to show you guys a tutorial on printing on colored socks. Did you know you can print on colored socks like red, black, blue, pink, yellow? We have a total of eight colorways right now of our athletic socks, and I'm going to show you just how to do that. So I've got my blank pink socks here. This sock is a pink foot with a white top from the ankle up and a pink interior. See that? So we call it the pink foot, pink interior. All right, the next one I've got, I've also got our blue foot here. Blue foot socks, same concept. A blue foot um, with a cotton base, it's got extra cushion, very comfortable. Our most comfortable socks is our athletic socks. I wear them every single day. All right, white top, with a blue inner right there. So we call this the blue foot, blue interior athletic sock. Again, that cotton whoo, makes you want to dry your face like a towel. Uh, sometimes I, I feel like I have a towel inside my foot. That's how dry and comfy and cozy it is. All right. The next thing I've got is my Silky Socks athletic inserts, which I'll show you how to use those. My sublimation transfer paper. Uh, pair of scissors and our heat press total five things all right so first I'm gonna make the beat cancer pink socks so here's the transfer up close beat cancer beat cancer pink socks with the ribbon here these become really popular around October when it's breast cancer month so you definitely want to start early and stock up for those so First thing I'm going to do is load the socks onto my insert. All right, just like so. I want to get it all the way up to the top, leaving about maybe just about a little under a half inch up top. You tuck the heel in right here. See that? All right, then um, it's a nice straight edge. It does start to curve a little bit down here, but that's okay. You have these lines nice and straight, and uh, you want to kind of straighten up the top there. Okay, so that one's ready. I'll go ahead and load my other one. All right. Tuck the heel in, loaded. I like to measure them up and make sure they're both uh, equally loaded and good to go. So I've got my heat press set at 400, about 400 degrees in 35 seconds. Uh, it's actually a little hotter than 400, so I'll take it down. Yeah, we'll go 400, 435, that should do it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and lay it down like so. I'm going to put it actually with the back on the left side and the front on the right side because my art file is set up that way. So we want the we want this to be like the back heel logo. Then it's going to say beat cancer up in the back side and then this ribbon goes on the front. So that's why I've got it set where this side is the back and this side is the front. You can also do it where it's like, this is the front of both, both uh, the socks and then you have another file for the back. We call that front, front, back, back. Uh, and then you can also flip this, load the socks onto the inserts sideways. If, uh, as you notice, I loaded these front and back, front and back, but if you loaded them where the socks was kind of sideways on the insert, then you can have that, the logo on both sides. All right, so, Now I'll bring this transfer paper here and notice I have a lot of bleed here. Bleed means this overlap. This little overlap here is going to cause a slight discoloration from the pink foot to what gets sublimated here. So that's why I brought a pair of scissors with me. I'm going to basically cut about a half inch off of this. All 
All right. Now what, what that's going to do is minimize my bleed area. So the overlap, I mean the overlap right there, it's going to minimize that to a small little line. And that's what I want. I don't want that to be too extravagant. So I've covered that here. And then I check to make sure everything fits up top. Make sure it's fitting on the sides, centered. Okay, looks good to me. All right, sent it through. So when you're sublimating pink over this part and a little bit of pink goes on here, you're always going to get a slight discut, like a slight color kind of overlap here. However, the foot is cotton. So what's cool is that that overlap will wash out and I've really never had a complaint about it. People ask me all the time, oh, is it going to overlap? The people who ask me and worry about it are other sublimation printers. Go figure. Uh, customers, retail customers, people at events, online orders, they've actually never complained, which is nice. They see that and they don't even trip. They're looking at how nice the graphic is. Let's go see how nice this is. Come on. All right. Peel away. Wow. Now that's clean. Check that out. Super clean, super vibrant. Got it right where I want it on the heel. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is flip them, switch them, and roll. You know, this technique is called flip, switch, and roll. So I'm rolling up the sides to avoid the, the white line. So basically you uh, overlap the sides there. That way you, you have pink on the sides and then if a little bit of pink is facing towards you, then uh, when the next sheet goes on, that'll make sure it looks like a seamless print without that white line. And this right here, in case you're wondering, is just standard craft paper. Um, we don't like using Teflon because it leaves too much wetness and moisture. So you want to use something dry like a standard piece of craft paper. All right, second pair done. I'm a little slow at this. My staff though, they're so used to it. They're just, they just powered through it. That's a kind of amazing. All right. So there's that. Second copy, same thing, back side, front side. Oh, almost forgot. I'm gonna cut off that half inch again. So you, if you don't wanna use scissors, you can also use like a, one of those large, large paper cutters. We have a couple in the back that with the guillotine style cut. Those work pretty fast. All right. Scent. So yeah, we don't use any glue, uh, spray. We just use these five things that I showed you. And we've been doing it like that for about five, six years now. Silky Socks started in 2013. A um, little bit about us. We've been screen in the screen print apparel business since 2009. Um, our other mother company is called Silk Screen Apparel. Then around 2013, we were like, how can we be different? How can we bring something to the market? Something cool, unique, and serve a need. And we had uh, we started making socks for a few clients and we were like, socks, that's a good product. And sublimated socks, that was a need we felt was there and uh, we just kind of went with it. So here we go with these fresh new colors. Let's see how it turns out. Voila. All right. So there you can see one side, the other side. There's the two fronts together. There's the two backs together. And here you'll see that that line I was talking about. Oof, this one's hot. Here's that line, small overlap, not really that critical. Your customers, I guarantee you, your, your end user customers won't trip, especially if they do tell them 
give it one wash, it'll actually improve. How cool is that? Your product will improve after you wash it. All right, so now I'll unload here. Nice and smooth, slowly. Cool. And there it is, guys. The final result, a true pink sock with a true pink foot. We sublimated the pink on the outside and it's already got the pink on the inside. See that? Stretch them, stretch them. Still beautiful. Bam, look at that. People always ask me, well, you can't stretch those. Yes, you can, mister. Yes, you can, buddy. All right, you like that? Cool, let's make the blue ones real quick. I don't wanna make this tutorial too long, but I'm gonna make the blue ones, and then we're gonna go wear these. So, Here's the inserts. I'm actually going to use the exact same insert. As you see, it leaves a little line up, a uh, little ink spot there. What you're going to do is you'll load the next pair up to the same spot. And you can just keep reusing these inserts for at least a few months until they bend or, or crack on you. All right, so I'll go ahead and load those guys up. All right, so I'll basically throw this piece of craft paper away. And I'll use the, the second one I had chilling here. All right, those two are ready to press. Grab my transfer sheet here, Mike's secret stuff. movie Space Jam if you've seen the little character goblin guys they drink the secret stuff and it helps them play like Mike Mike aka the greatest basketball player of all time I know you might want to argue and some might say Kobe or LeBron but come on it's clearly Mike I got Kobe number two and LeBron number three who you got all right so I just, you just saw me cut that. Now, same thing, backside, front, centered. The backside has the Silky Socks logo, so you can put your brand on, uh, on it if you wanna put it in the back heel there. It's kind of a good look. And there it goes. I gotta show you guys something. Not only do I have the socks, I got the water bottle. So, Mike's secret stuff, baby. Drink that, get to the basketball court, start hooping, fade away, jumper. You know what I'm talking about. Socks, water bottle matching. It's game over. Two, one, bam. Okay. So peel that away there, beautiful. Hope you can see the vibrancy of that, nice color. Okay, so flip, switch, and roll. Yeah, I'm trying to make this video kind of short, but usually you'll let it cool for 10 to 15 seconds. I've seen some spots use gloves too. We've never really, my, I've always offered them to the staff and had a couple pairs of gloves, but they never really used them. They weren't really with it. What they do is uh, kind of get a good workflow. At, after the one side gets pressed, you flip and switch it. Maybe go back to your work table and prep the next socks until that 30 seconds went by and now you're back here rolling them or whatever, you know? or uh, you can check your cell phone, you can check your status updates, check your Instagram. Be sure to follow us at Silky Socks and follow my personal as well, at Danish Kasamali. It's all good, you can follow my personal. No, no, uh, it's, we're set on public, you know, trying to, trying to grow out here in the world in the sublimation community, in the apparel community. So 
got to stay public and put out content. That's our kind of strategy. All right. So flip switch and roll is done. All right. So silky logo back, Mike secret stuff. Oh, see, I almost forgot to cut again. And I didn't even show you guys how that overlap looked. I'll show you at the end when the sock is done. Half inch cut. All right, there goes side number two. Give it about 30 seconds and we'll reveal and see how it looks. Another thing you can do is uh, clean up while your kind of uh, press is going. That's always good. They say cleanliness is half of faith. Keep a clean area, clean office, clean workstation, and the vibe elevates for sure. All right. Swing away, swing away. Oh. So there's that one. I kind of put my logo a little too low, so it got slightly cut off there. Should be more like that, where it's right above the line. But hey, things happen. I'm still gonna pass this for the demo. It's a little hot before I unload. All right, unload, nice and smooth. Bam. Nice and smooth. Bam. There it is, guys. The Mike Secret stuff, blue. Backside, blue. Slight blue overlap here. Um, and if you, this blue is slightly darker than this blue, that's kind of how we wanted it. You can make some adjustments on your sublimation uh, printer, print out a bunch of like small color swatches of, of like royal blue and see which one eyeball matches the closely closest. Every sublimation printer is different, so we can't like send you like a color code and tell you that it'll guarantee to output the same. You just kind of got to maybe test it on some swatch fabric, get the right color you like, and then go with it. So I got my water bottle, got my socks. I'm ready to go outside and put these on. But I won't be drinking anything because I am fasting. So yeah, I'm just going to be pretend drinking and rocking the silkies. You ready? Let's go. All right, I was going to go outside, but it's a little gloomy outside. so. I'm gonna stay right here, right by the front door. I'm gonna go ahead and put these Mike's Secret stuff on first so you can see the fit. Give me two seconds, I'll be right back. You gotta get a little bit of clips of what I brought to the office today, the intergalactic range. See that, dope. There's the full silky look, guys. What do you think? Mike's Secret stuff, it's very lit. Got my ball here. From the Venice ball guys, got a few handles, you know, get a play ball, wear the socks, wear the, wear, you know, get the accessories, and now you've got the full silky look. Next one is the Beat Cancer Pink, stretchy, no white lines showing, beautiful, silky smooth. These Jordan, I mean these LeBrons, these are called the What the LeBrons. It's a nice shoe. You know, LeBron's a nice little player. There's the look, guys. Ribbon on the front. Beat cancer on the back. All right, guys, that completes the tutorial video, how to make colored socks. I want you to go out and make some exotic colored socks. Choose the craziest designs, funniest designs, mix it up, and keep blessing people's feet. I'm excited to keep working and doing business with you. Please be sure to comment on the video, share to your friends, and subscribe to the channel. I'm looking to try to get up to about 750 subscribers. That's our next milestone. We just passed 500. I really appreciate it. Until next time, guys, bless your feet. I'm out. Oh, was good. Let's start another demo, baby. 
We're about to sh teach the world how to make color printed socks. Are you ready? I'm ready. Got my inserts here. This is part of the demo. You've got to have the silky inserts. Come on, baby. Bronco, don't show them my feet right now. UPS guy just pulled up. Oh no. What's oh, up, bro? You're recording yourself, huh? I'm recording a little video, yeah. So, if I, I'm not interrupting you right now, right? No, no, you're good. Okay. Just try not to hit the tripod. I'm not, no, I'm not being in. <laughs> you're looking good. You're looking Thanks. good, bro. Until next time, guys. Ah! Bless your feet. Yeah!